This video is brought to you by Rise of Kingdoms. YouTube has got all sorts of different types of channels. You've got excellent channels, very good channels, and absolutely horrible channels in the last category. I would put all of those pranksters, a content type I absolutely despise. But then there is this channel. Hello noble ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and today I'd like to talk about the channel History, formerly known as History Channel. And as a history lover and enthusiast myself, I find it rather ironic that the one channel that I would not recommend any of you to watch is in fact called History. Given, I think it is an improvement that they changed the name History Channel into just History. Excellent job, R&D and PR team. At least that way, today I don't have to talk about History Channel. Channel. But History, as a channel name, is the apotheosis, the zenith of misnomers. Misnomer definition. A wrong or inaccurate use of a name or term. So now that we've got the definition, let's ask the pertinent question. Well, does it fit? Is this a misnomer? How about we take the channel for a spin, shall we? There we go, 12 million subscribers, 9,200 videos. Now before I show you that, what do you think the channel banner says? When material goods confirm literary evidence? Archaeology, history and the analytical approach. The proof is out there. Alright, but proof of what you say? Oh, let me show you. Hunt for the mysterious abominable snowman. Full episode. Top 3 unbelievable alien artifacts. He's probably an alien. UFO photo cannot be debunked. UFO sightings and abductions. Three, <laughs> three hour marathon. Oh my god, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it for a thousand dollars. Are aliens sending us coded messages? Close alien encounters in Texas. Unexplainable UFO sightings. What could that be? A triangle? Werewolf? <laughs> Werewolf? and vampires. History. Cursed treasures. Aliens over Southwest United States. Alien tombs. Full episode. A video about salami. Mind-blowing proof of alien DNA found on Earth. I think you and I have a different idea of what proof means. India's alien energy. Mind-boggling. A video about Playboy. Geoglyphs on Mars send alien messages. Like mind your fucking business mate. Top 4 mind-boggling mysteries of California. Or oh, I can think of one or two. Bigfoot sightings, the real Bigfoot. A video about eggs. <sighs> Nostradamus, of course they're gonna go into oh, Of course Nostradamus is gonna be in there. Gosh. You thought that that was funny? Well, I've got much more to show you. So please, stay tuned. Now what can I tell you if there is something I absolutely love is military warfare and ancient civilizations. Which leads to the sponsor for this video, Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is an epic cross-platform strategy game that takes players on an immersive journey through various historical eras. In Rise of Kingdoms you can choose between 14 historical civilizations that have really existed, including the newest one. Greece. Famous generals and unique military units from different civilizations will obey your every command as you build your own legends on the battlefield. The Greece civilization, featuring exclusive commanders and special units, Argiraspides, will add a new level of excitement to the game. To celebrate Greece joining the battlefield, the Civilization Clash event will be held allowing players to compete for their own civilizations. There are tons of other exciting features for you to find in Rise of Kingdom, including seamless world maps, customizable architecture, and so on. Download Rise of Kingdom by clicking the first link in the description, pinned comment, or by using the QR code. Participate in the new event by clicking the second link in the description, rock.games, with a chance to win prizes including Apple Vision Pro, PS5 and Switch OLED. Also for new players, make sure to use the promo code GREASE for ROCK for 20 silver keys. The code will be available for the first three days. Moreover, if you choose to spend money in-game, I would recommend that for adults only. And please do so responsibly. Click the little question mark on top of the right corner of the Wheel of Fortune to review your odds of getting prizes. And now let's get back to the video. Giants constructed huge Maltese structures. <sighs> Stonehenge. This one really baffles me. I mean, we're talking about an alien species that is so technologically advanced that they are capable of intergalactic space travel. And yet, whenever they do reach Earth and they decide, hey, how about we build a structure? That's the best they can do? A couple of stones? I mean, don't get me wrong, impressive for Stone Age people. But considering the fact we don't expect Stone Age people to be able to travel the galaxy 
I was expecting a titanium tower mixed with, I don't know, never seen alien alloy that lights up as it senses organic life and is ignited by some sort of advanced AI we cannot understand. No. Stones. Disturbing skull discovered in alien chambers? Well, well if these are alien chambers then what would be so disturbing about the discovery? Let me rephrase it for you. Disturbing skull discovered in a supermarket. Now that would be disturbing. Proof of real life giants in giant letters. Also 4 hours and 14 <laughs> My gosh. What can you possibly say for 4 hours, 14 minutes and 29 seconds? The rake terrifies eyewitness. Or the other way around, depending on who the eyewitness was. Alien and time travel. Terrifying giant creatures lived on Earth. Massive sculptures created with anti-gravity tech. I love how detailed they are. Must have taken decades to figure this one out. Now when it comes to that proof we mentioned a minute ago. But literally, since you've already gone through the hassle of rebranding, here is a free suggestion for you. How about you name your channel Alienology? There you go, you're welcome. You didn't even need to pay your PR and R&D teams. You probably spent, what, $50,000 to have them remove the word channel from History Channel? Or how about you make it 100k? Appreciate it, thank you. Medieval knights were extremely effective. It must be aliens. Rome was burnt? It must be aliens. Albert Einstein was incredibly smart, he must have been an alien. And this is not even a joke, they actually made that episode. What? <laughs> I personally think that in this case there is a massive misunderstanding, if not a critical failure of biblical proportion, when it comes to what the word history actually means. History, definition, the study of past events, particularly in human, 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 human affairs. Not to mention the fact that history needs to be recorded in order for it to be history. And there is also the small aspect of having actual evidence that plays a pivotal role. So calling this channel history and then showing all of this alienology stuff, it's the equivalent of calling a channel maths and just a show food videos. Oh, wait. Okay, how about we make a new channel? Let's call it Geography. First video, let's learn the capitals of all nations. What's the capital of Italy? Rome. What's the capital of France? Paris. What's the capital of the United States of America? Area 51, of course. It's the margins, they're in charge. Biden is a reptilian, that's why he can't walk properly. Trump is a grey, clearly. They are competing for control over a planet. The government is working secretly with the aliens, and of course, they actually have a video about that. Well, at least I gotta give them this one. Their thumbnail game is spot on, like literally top notch. I mean, these thumbnails perfectly represent what the channel has to offer. No clickbait there. Not too busy, to the point, I'd say excellent. Oh, and on that note, meaning the thumbnails, the constant repetition of exclamation and question marks, it's literally driving me nuts. Mates, this outgrowth of interbanks is the equivalent of constantly yelling at your subscribers. And according to the rules of grammar and punctuation, one exclamation mark is already perfect for the job. Even Metal Gear Solid pulled it off just with one. <gasps> If Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation 1 could pull it off with one single exclamation mark and get so popular, so can you. And since we've seen no history so far, let me give you a little history. Did you know that the exclamation mark was first used in publication in the 15th century and it most likely derives from Latin as the ancient Romans actually used the I and the O at the end of a sentence on top of each other to represent the topic of exclamation. Hence, that's probably where it comes from. Okay, Metatron, but what if I just, you know, skip all of the aliens and giants and monsters and werewolves and Bigfoot content and I just watch their actual regular history content? I mean, they must have some, right? Okay, let's see. What do they have about the Templars? Apparently they built stuff in America. Well, I want to know about the Aztec civilization. Aliens. But what about the history of religion? All about how religion developed through the centuries and no, aliens. Ancient Greece? Aliens. But what about the Romans? Like how they built their temples? Of course it wasn't the Romans, it was the aliens. The aliens built the temples. <sighs> Medieval art? Aliens. What about feudal Japan? A okay, now, don't get me wrong. 
I myself am a very open-minded individual. And if you were to ask me, do you believe the aliens exist? I'd tell you maybe, possibly, I mean, who knows? And on the same note, if you ask me, okay, but if you accept the possibility that perhaps there are intelligent beings and intelligent life out there in the universe being so big, mathematically it's possible, then what is your opinion on the idea that they may have visited us in the past, like in the ancient past? And I say, yeah, well, let's keep an open mind. I don't say it definitely didn't happen. I have to admit that when you have access to the original languages and you start reading writings of Plutarch or perhaps some specific passages in the Bible written in Hebrew, or maybe you're looking at some pictures of artistic representations of Indian gods and you put all of that together, it does look like there is either some sort of ancient technologically advanced civilization or perhaps even the whole concept of ancient astronauts. So the idea of maybe an alien civilization 200,000 years ago visited us. It's an intriguing slash fascinating concept but there is no proof. I like the idea of being able to talk about anything and I like the idea of being able to have always a little bit of an open mind uh, just in case. So keep a little space for an open mind but always approach with some skepticism. At least until actual evidence is presented to you. <laughs> but what they do is that they are literally spamming every single possible conspiracy no matter what, no matter who said it, no matter when they said it, it's gonna be there. You know what that equals to? It's the equivalent of the silly boy analogy of someone in a theatre constantly yelling fire, fire to get attention, even though there is no fire. And by doing that, when it does happen that there actually was a fire, nobody's gonna believe you anymore. But of course they don't care because they just do it for the clicks. Although then again, it doesn't seem to be working for them anymore. So here is my suggestion for you. Dear, dear History Channel, how about you drop the aliens? and the Bigfoot. You make one big post and say, guys, we are reverting back to just historical content based on academic works. And then you keep your name. Or you keep this up because, I mean, free country. That's what you want to do? Freedom of speech. I'm all for that. Absolutely talk about Bigfoot and aliens, but please, change that name. <laughs> Well, I know but once, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you're not yet members of this community, become a noble one. Subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron about history, among other things. Don't forget to click the link in the description to check out the offer that Rise of Kingdom has for you, a game I actually play and have on my phone, which is why I was happy to collaborate with them. Thank you very much, as always. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.